is Todd. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Todd. If you guys have a different name, please feel free to put it as a comment. I'm more than welcome. I was thinking, you know, Cooking with Todd, Keys and Creations, Cooking, I don't know. Anyways, today's uh, meal is going to be a slow cooker chicken that we're going to be topping with a pomegranate molasses uh, sauce on top. But before we get that started, I want to give you a couple of little tips. So when it comes to, in this recipe, we do have some carrots, we have some onion, we have some sweet potato, and then we have uh, 10 cloves of garlic. So to give you a little little uh, help on garlic, the easiest way to do it is you put it in hot water, and, it, and, the, and the skin just comes right off. So I got 10 cloves of garlic, and then when it comes to the sweet potato, what I did is I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half again, and then I cut it one more time in half, and then I cut them into one inch little pieces. We have that going on right here. Got a lot of the prep already done beforehand. I just want to give you how I ended up cutting these up for the actual. And then when it comes to the carrot, what I do is I actually cut them at angles. And what you do is you just you just keep you turn it over, cut an angle, turn it over, cut an angle, until you just get a bunch of nice one inch angle cuts. And then when it comes to the onion, you cut it in half. And then you leave one side with the root, cut the one side out that has the other side of the root, peel it off. And then the advantage of keeping the, the root on is that you can actually cut it a lot easier because everything stays together, especially when you're doing dice, like what I'm doing. So to recap kind of what we've gone over, we have one onion, we have five carrots, we have one large or medium-sized sweet potato, and then we have... Um, some walnuts that I've roasted, but we'll be going over that in just a moment. So like I said, when it comes to onion, cut them in little strips, come down, make sure your fingers are up, and then you go back, the roots holding it all together, and you just go in and you do nice little dice. And then as you get closer, you just keep your, and then you just turn this over, and you can just chop the, the rest of it. That's that. So, let's get started with the actual cooking of it. So like I said, we're going to be putting this in a crock pot. But we're going to cook some of it to get it uh, nice and brown, especially on the chicken. Before we do that, let's actually start focusing on the rice. So if you want to come over here, what I've done is I have put in one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of um, basil, uh, one garlic clove, half a teaspoon of salt, some lemon zest, and we're going to put that in the pan. And then we're going to put one tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to just kind of heat that up until it gets fragrant. So right now we got this on a medium. So stir that up. And like I said, we're just going to, we just want to get it so that it's, we have a little bit of a, or a fragrance going on. So we're going to stir that all around. We're probably going to cook it for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to add our rice. So we have, we're going to let that cook. While that's cooking, why don't we go back over, over here. So what we got over here is we have two and a half pounds of chicken. We have chicken breast. And what I've done is I've created a dry herb. So in that dry herb I have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I have one teaspoon of turmeric. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and then a half a teaspoon of ground uh, pepper. So I stirred that up. And now what I'm gonna do is I've already pat dried the chicken breast. So I took a paper towel and I pat dried it and we're gonna dip this until we get both sides coated. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're actually gonna end up um, stir frying or frying these on the sauteing these on the pan until they get nice and brown on both sides. All right, so we got, we're gonna let that sit for a little while. And then we're gonna go back to our rice. So this, I'm starting to smell the fragrance. And now we're gonna stir that around one more time. We're gonna add our two cups of chicken or vegetable broth. Then we're going to add our rice, which is one cup of balsamic. 
stir that around. Now we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna bring this to a boil. So while that is bringing up to a boil, we're gonna end up finishing the chicken and we're gonna be sauteing some onions and we're gonna be creating our pomegranate sauce. But first off, let's get your saute pan on a nice medium high heat. We're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil. Stir that around. So while that's sauteing, I'm going to, oh, I need to, sorry, brain fart there. It is one of those things that you can put in uh, the crock pot. You can do this early in the morning. It takes about 30 minutes overall to do everything and get it ready. And then once you've done it, you can just put it in the crock pot and you can have it sit there for the, until you come back. Um, you're gonna put, you know, about a quarter cup of rice on a plate, top it with your pomegranate sauce chicken. And then on top of that, you got some nice, fresh um, pomegranate seeds or aerial as they're called. And then you finish it with a little bit of parsley. And you'll have to watch that later when I do the video. I'm gonna put, put everything together later tonight so you can actually see the videos. Right now, we're just doing the prep part of it. So this is heating up. This is coming to a boil. And once that comes to a boil, you're gonna let that, uh, you're gonna bring the heat down to simmer and you're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes or until water is absorbed, or the, in this case, it was soft stock that we're using. All right, so as far as the recipe goes, what we do is we have one onion, we got five carrots, which I kind of mentioned earlier, but we got a medium, we got one medium sweet potato, we got two cups of coarsely chopped almonds, I put that in a food processor, and then this is actually gonna go at the very end, but this is one tablespoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of uh, marjoram, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. We got our 10 garlic cloves, which I'm going to cut up into smaller pieces. And this is actually gonna go into the crock pot as well. We got our water boiling over here. I'm gonna bring that down to a simmer and then I'm gonna put a lid on top of it. So we're gonna put that on simmer and we're gonna do that for about 20 minutes. All right, so this should be hot now, which it is. Get a nice sizzle, and you know it's done, or it's hot enough. So we're gonna cook these for about two minutes. So they get a nice, until they start to soften and start to sweat. And keep sauteing these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up making our sauce, which is a combination of the onions, pomegranate juice, our, our sorry, pomegranate molasses, and then our walnuts, our chicken stock, and then our lemon juice, which is two tablespoons of lemon juice and a zest of half a lime, or half a lemon. This is actually going to be a very good recipe. It's very easy. I mean, there's a, little, there's a few steps involved, but once you get into the crock pot, it's actually fairly easy and fairly good. Or I should say it's really good. So these are starting to sweat. If you want to come on over here, you can see the carrots are starting to sweat. Got moisture. Sorry, right, not carrots, onions. I'm being directed as well today. This is a new for me. All right, so we're adding our chicken broth, which was half a cup of chicken broth. We got our two tablespoons of lemon juice and zest. And then we got our one third cup of molasses. Which you can buy at any, a lot of stores. I got this one from a Middle Eastern store called North Park Produce. But yeah, they're on a lot of specialty stores. You can actually make your own as well. All you gotta do is take some pomegranate juice and um, and cook it on high until it actually gets real thick. But I had some left over. And then the last thing we need to add in is our almonds. So we're gonna let this heat for a couple minutes until it starts to thicken. And this is gonna go right on top of the chicken. So 
So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna let this cook a little thick and a little bit, let it, all, let it combine. And then I'm gonna take this and put this into a bowl. And then we're gonna cook our chicken. Put that all in here into this bowl. So now, put the pan back on, we're gonna add another tablespoon of olive oil. Get that heated up a little bit, and then we're gonna put the chicken, and we're gonna, we're gonna cook both sides. So since this has already been cooking, and it's still kinda hot, this should be pretty quick and easy. These are big. We're just gonna cook on about two, about maybe two to three minutes per side. In the meantime, we're gonna start our crock pot. We have it on low. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer the chicken first. Then we're gonna put the put the onion walnut on top, and then we're gonna put the carrots and the sweet potato, and then we're gonna top it all off with the rosemary and madrum. You right over here, you can actually start seeing that the rice is starting to. Uh, absorb some of those liquid and whatnot so you've got a nice little smell. At the very end, we're gonna add a half a cup, or sorry, not a half, half a lemon, half the juice of a lemon. So, trim these over. And let that cook for about two to three minutes. We're trying to get the juices to go into the middle of the chicken so that when they're actually cooked, it's got a nice tender chicken when it comes out. I think that's about it. I mean, we'll let this cook for a couple more minutes and then I'll show you the final. We we'll put everything in layers and then that'll be it. On Thursday, I am cooking, um, it's a sheet pan dish. It's going to be uh, lim Meyer lemon with uh, Brussels sprouts and gnocchi. It's all going to go on one pan. It's going to cook for about 25 minutes. And it's a simple dish you can serve with your favorite salad. So that will be the demonstration on Thursday. And then you can actually find the recipes and everything at plantofbit.org slash blog. Again, that's plan, the number two, the letter B, F-I-T dot org. And it is backslash blog. And then um, we also have a YouTube channel that all these videos are going to go to. So if you would like to check them out at a later date, you're more than welcome to do so. So these are where I start cooking. We cooked on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna start layering it. I'm gonna put the rest of the chicken a little bit later. Here, we're gonna layer. We're gonna do half, so we still have some chicken breasts that are still cooking. Spread that around in there. And then we're gonna layer that with our carrots. sweet potato and then our, no, our garlic cloves which I'm going to cut into smaller pieces all right we're just doing a rough chop on these because we're actually once once they get in the crock pot they're going to soften we're putting that in there And then let's go back to this chicken over here. We're going to turn this over. Like I said, the final thing we're going to add is our rosemary and marjoram. Put that on top and then stick that on top. And then all the juices and all the liquid from everything will make it in six hours. It'll be done. So that's it. Uh, we have 11 more minutes on the rice, but you'll see that a little bit later tonight. And uh, thank you for coming. We'll see you on Thursday. Hello and welcome back. Um, the rice has been cooked. We've been letting it sit here for about five minutes to cool down a little bit. And as you can see, it's got all the herbs and the lemon zest and the garlic. It's it's all been um, fluffed with a, with a fork. And now I'm doing the last thing, which is adding half of the lemon juice. We're just gonna stir that around and then our rice is done.